North Carolina originally. I will be in a, an environment that's as foreign as any I've ever been to. I'm struck up here by how much water covers the land. All this area is still underwater. So in Bangladesh, one of the tragedies of flood, water, water everywhere, not to drop to drink. <laughs> I'm interested in, in this documentary series and this particular story's capacity to shake people out of a sense of denial. If the sea level rises by a meter, we're talking about somewhere between 15 to 20 million people having to move. There's a way of life that's no longer available or sustainable for these people. The migrants here come from all over Bangladesh? Yes, particularly, you know, climate stressed areas. It seems like a really uh, desperate situation. A country and a culture that produces virtually no greenhouse gases is bearing the brunt of climate change. This would be considered a good living space in the city. A certain degree of loss is at this point considered inevitable. A 12 foot high wall of water hit the city in the middle of, of the evening. She actually was crying and weeping because she had to make a choice. Which child she choose to live and which one does she choose to die? And there are things we can do individually about the environment, but I think it it needs some sort of critical mass that isn't quite there in terms of an awareness. That's India. Lots of people cross this border, many of them illegally. If they find that somebody is trying to intrude, they'll shoot and then talk. If he's alive. I'm really excited to take part in, in telling a story that may well make it real for people. Some estimates predict that there will be 20 to 30 million Bangladeshis who have nowhere to go due to climate change. What do you think will happen then? They will go. And if that happened today, we could certainly expect that they'd be met with resistance. I think so. Yeah. I'm interested in not just what can be done to stop climate change or reverse its effects even, but what's being done to adapt to its inevitability. My understanding at this point when it comes to Bangladesh is the fact that we're looking at our own future.